So we're here today on the all new Saxdorf 400 GTC. We've just come out from the boat show and we're on Southampton waters. We're gonna give it a good run out. Um, this boat has got the twin 400s on it from Mercury, the V10s and it's got a, a very high specification. So it's quite a heavy boat as far as they go. In addition to that, we've got just over 700 litres of petrol on board and probably about another 100 or so litres of additional fuel. It's also got the lithium battery generator replacement system on it, which adds some extra weight. So it should give you a really good idea of how this boat handles under load. And we'll also get you some figures for top speed performance and also um, fuel usage per hour uh, at different speeds. So hopefully it'll give you a bit of an insight into uh, how the boat handles and performs before it's tested by some independent magazines. So just while we're on our way out, it's worth just uh, mentioning the equipment this boat's fitted with. It's standard, you get the joystick anyway, which is great for docking the boat on the 350 and the 400 engine selections, which are what's available on the GTC. So this boat's fitted with a top of the line navigation package. It's got the three navigation screens, which are all 16 inches. It's got the additional uh, standard nine inch screen fitted here. It's also got radar and bi-directional AIS VHF radio. But I've got this set up today with the uh, the charts on the center screen, the depth to my right, and then all the zip wake system, which isn't turned on and I'm not gonna use for a while, just so you can see how true this boat does run. Then I've got liters per hour per engine, and I've got a combined uh, liter per hour at the bottom here. Um, so we can see some real time fuel consumption figures for everyone that's been asking. The driving position on this boat is extremely comfortable and you can set it up exactly how you want it to be. It's got the adjustable helm, the adjustable seats, and it's even got a footrest that flips up at the bottom, but everything's just in the right position for you. As you can see, I'm just leaning back in my seat with my bolster flipped up, which is just how I like to drive. But equally, when you sat up, the visibility is fantastic on this boat, right the way around. You've got 360 degrees of visibility. You can see the bow and both two corners of the boat at the stern. So at the moment, we're fully enclosed on this boat. We've got all of the doors closed, the side, the forward one, and the, the rear, but also you've got the sunroof um, closed as well. It's extremely quiet in here. If you want some ventilation, we can just with one touch open the roof, which doesn't really affect the sound in here either. It's a bit of traffic here in the uh, Southampton waters this evening, but I'll just get out of the way. Very smooth up onto the plane. So I'm doing uh, 35 miles an hour at the moment. Uh, fuel lease to ridge per hour on this combined is 135 litres. While we've got a nice empty uh, clear straight, I'll just uh, bring it up to a wide open throttle for a moment, gently. So as you can hear, the sound is extremely quiet on the boat. We're over 40 miles an hour at the moment. Nowhere near wide open throttle. RPM is five and a half thousand at the moment. And I haven't touched the zip weight trim tax, trim tax. So throttle right down at the moment. The auto trim is off on this boat as well, which I don't feel that it needs, but I'm gonna give it a little bit of trim now. Just take away a little bit of resistance. We've just cleared 50 miles an hour. It is using a considerable amount of fuel at this speed. Um, with the trim only very slightly up, it's 280 litres an hour. Just hit 53 miles an hour there. 53 and a half. Because it's a new boat, I do need to be varying the throttle control, so I think I'll leave it there for the top end at the moment. Just while we've got a, uh, a bit of clear water again, I'm going to put the boat into a few turns. It's very responsive. Might as well just do a full turn with it now. But I'm actually doing 39 and a half miles an hour at that turn, and it's effortless. It's actually hit 40 there. Nice tight turn, extremely quiet. There is quite a lot of uh, commercial traffic here this evening, so I just do have to be a little bit careful what I'm doing just to be safe. So just uh, hold, holding her off around about the 30 mile an hour, it's gone as low as 
five, I think it was, litres an hour combined. So it's pretty fuel efficient. But obviously on a nice flat day, uh, when you trim it up, you got the wind in the right direction as well, it's gonna be even more, more impressive. So, you know, just talking about visibility on this boat as well, you know, there's lots of light coming in anyway, which just makes it a very pleasant place to be. But when you are turning, the visibility is absolutely fantastic because of all the glazing on every side of the boat, you have got great visibility all around so you can see what is going on. And you do need to see what's going on in Southampton waters with so much traffic around. We've pulled up just outside Netley Abbey. We're going to drop all the sides down so you can just see how easy it is to open everything up and just see what it's like with them all open on the water. But while I do that, I'm just going to use one of the great features that comes part of the package with the uh, joystick, which is called Skyhook. So by pressing this button here, it will maintain a position within a certain parameter just by engaging gear backwards or forwards and using satellites to hold it in its position. So while we're under the control of the Skyhook system, I'm going to show you how to open this back door. So you just flip this lever around, which drops the bolt down from inside, push away from you. And then you flip the lever back, which puts the bolt back into the top here to lock it into place safely. So walking back through here, this whole window lifts up. So you've got two safety latches that hold it in place here. And then the window lifts up with the control over here. So when the window's fully extended, you just push up here and it locks into place on this securing latch, again, for added safety. To open the side doors, it's the same on each side. You just drop the lever down and slide it over. There are a couple of safety features on this as well, which will hold the door in position to stop it moving. But this lock here stops you trapping your hand if it slides. So to release this side terrace, you pull this lever here, which mechanically releases the side. Then hold your finger on the lock button and then put down the appropriate terrace using the button below. And it's exactly the same system for the starboard terrace. You pull the lever again, release mechanically, and then lock and down. So you can go fully around the boat through the back here as well. You pull the lock and open this door. Once you're all anchored up in place on the boat, you've got the sides out and open, and you're feeling a bit hungry, you can lift this up here and use the grill. There's also a sink with hot and cold water. If you want to enjoy the sunshine even more, you can release this lever, slide the seat forward, pull the second lever, drop the backrest down, and it extends the sun pad into a far bigger area. Getting to the front of the boat is very simple and it takes you to another great area. So when you're up here, you can obviously dine, have some drinks, extend the table to take up to five guests. And when you want to enjoy the sunshine even more, you can push the table down, put the optional infill cushion on there to open it into another big sun pad. So I hope that's given you a good insight into the all new Saxor 400 GTC. For a full product walkthrough, there is one on our YouTube channel. So please visit our idealboat.com YouTube channel for more information on this and the rest of the Saxor range. If you need any questions answering, please feel free to get in touch with the Saxor team or myself, and we'll be happy to try and help. Thanks for watching.